Hello everyone, my name is Easy, and in this video I will try to showcase for you guys how to craft the two rare items we use in this called Blade Vortex Magic Find build. The Exploded Chest and the Spell Damage Bow. For the chest, we're gonna need a base, a superior sacrificial garb like this one here. I bought it off POE Trade, of course it didn't have the Redeemer mod, and I used a Redeemer Exalted Orb on it to make it Redeemer. Another thing we need, we're gonna need a, an Exploding Crusader chest. This one can be any base, just make sure the Exploding mode is like a tier 1 and not a tier 2. And also we're gonna need an Awakener's Orb. Now, first thing is we're gonna try to get the Aura mode on the Sacrificial Garb over here. For that, we're gonna use Bound Fossils. So let's alchemy it and reroll it. No, no, It has a pretty low weighting of only 500, so this might take a while. But there we go, we have it. Perfect, there is no other Redeemer mode on it, so that's nice. Now, we take the Awakener Orb, we use it on the Crusader chest, and then put it on the chest we need, and there we go. We have our Explodi and Aura chest piece for our Magic Find build. This doesn't have life on it. Now, if we we could craft if we want to, or we can use the life uh, mastery from our tree, and then we should craft something else on it. Like I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do. Like the mod with fizz as extra fire and fizz taken as extra, uh, fizz as, as lightning or something like that. Yeah, this one. We could we could use this one to do a gravitious chest piece. And then we could like use a life mastery with fifteen percent extra life, which would be even better than crafting life on this chest piece. Or the bow, well we want our bow base, a 6 link, now I'm using a sniper bow for some crit multi, but also the short bow works, any bow works basically at least start, doesn't really matter, and we're gonna need a bunch of deafening essences of woe. The idea is to spam the bow with essences of woe until we get the plus one gem and an empty prefix to craft the plus two support gem and craft on it. So let's go. No plus one, no plus one. Oh, here we have a plus one, but, eh, and it's already with an empty prefix. So I'm gonna go to the crafting bench and we're gonna just craft the plus two level of socket and support gems and we are done. I got a bit lucky here with my old bow, with my other bow, I used <laughs> over 20 essences of bow, just because every time I was filling the prefixes and then I had to annul and I annulled something bad. But this bow is this was actually amazing, it even has dexterity and cold dress, so yeah, this would be a, a really good starting bow to magic find with. Well, these crafts were kind of easy today, I'm, I was expecting it to be a bit worse, so I got a bit lucky, but still, it will cost us maybe like 10 divines on league start, but yeah, that's why we're gonna Alkin go far with non-MF until we get there. That being said, thank you guys very much for watching, thank you for being here, it does mean a lot. Keep walking exiles, the next map awaits you.